It's the front page news. It's what's trending now. All right, y'all. Rick's about the morning show, man. We got the one and only. Uh, I am so excited. He hasn't been on on our show in a long time, Doctor Michael Eric Dyson. Good morning, Doctor Mike Doctor Dyson. My man, how are you doing this morning? So glad to be back on your show. It's been a minute since I've been hanging out with y'all. Well, I watch you on TV every day. I just absolutely love you and thank you for uh, everything that you do. Uh, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do. Love what you do as well, my man. Yes, sir, man. Uh, uh, let's get right into it. So tension, uh, tensions all across the country is not dying down, and it only seems to be getting worse. Uh, what are your takeaways from the protests that have uh, continued for five days straight now? Black people tired. We snapped. The same way that that white cop leaned the weight of his body on the neck of George Floyd, we now feel the knee of white America on our necks, and we are tired of it. We are sick and tired of cops killing us. It's a, it's a broken tail light. It's a traffic stop. It's a supposed counterfeit check. Small things, right? We don't even know if that's true. But small offenses or just being, just breathing, just having the nerve to exist. And we get shot. We get killed. We get snuffed out. We get, we get suffocated. And so people are tired of that. And they're rising up. They're taking to the streets. They're saying enough is enough. And white America has to listen. And people get upset and claim, well, you know, uh, why is it that people have to be so aggressive? Well, why is it that we keep dying no matter our peaceful protest? When Colin Kaepernick right. took a knee, that wasn't violent. But you th- you acted like it was the, the black hand Come on now. the town. <laughs> Come on now. Up. So we ain't done nothing violent there. But now when we rise up to say we haven't had enough of that, you began to focus on the nature of our response and not the nature of the offense that caused us to respond this way. Hmm. So I say we got to keep going, and white folks' eyes have to be open, just like Justin Timberlake. I mean, Justin Timberlake. I mean, you got to open your eyes. What you say, Dr. I'm just saying, sorry. I just made that little little, little mistake there, but the point (laughs) is, the point is, that we are tired of people you. faking like they with us. Y'all better get with us. Dr. Dyson, as a professor of sociology at Georgetown University, and after writing the book you wrote, um, Tears We Cannot Stop, A Sermon to White America, you've studied this so extensively. So what are your thoughts on the president of our country threatening military force against the protesters? How detrimental is that? It's extremely detrimental. It is uh, the kind of flexing of a muscle a kind of John Wayne approach to the presidency, not a calm and dispassionate investment in citizens, not an empathy with why we feel the way we feel, understanding, uh, given the history of racial animus in this country, what we're up against, seeing our babies die, seeing cops uh, beat uh, black people, pummel, uh, put them on the pavement and pummel their heads, to see Ahmed Arbery running for his life, and seeing white vigilantes assault him. So there's no question that the president of the United States of America is himself a major problem. He has no grace. He has no dignity. He is He's proud to be unmolested by enlightenment. He is predatory. He is a, a, a neo-fascist president. And he's not interested in building up and developing solidarity among citizens and now not to be empathetic to why black people are angry and outraged at death and simply to challenge the reinforcement of the military against their vulnerable black bodies uh, is utterly ridiculous. It makes as much sense as him, uh, you know, putting away those protesters in Washington, D.C., where I live a couple nights ago to hold a Bible upside down and backwards. That's what he knows about God. That's what he knows about the Bible. And that's what he knows about us. He said upside down and backwards. Wow, what an idiot. I, in, in your opinion, uh, what needs to happen to help uh, fix American inequality? Well, you know, first of all, we've got to get cops to stop shooting us. we got to have, uh, you know, oversight of the cops. There's been talk about defunding police departments and putting some of that money in, in places where it needs to go. For instance, cops shouldn't be sent to deal with mentally ill people. Why send a cop to deal with somebody who's got a manifestly mental, uh, you know, mental problem? So we got to we got to have other uh, avenues of relief for people who suffer. Number two, we got to have community oversight. 
these communities uh, must have the ability to say what police people do in their communities. Thirdly, right. the police ought to live in the very neighborhoods that they are policing. you got these right. white cops coming in from suburbia somewhere I or from an that. outlying region, and then they come right. in. They don't see their uncle, their aunt, their cousin, their mama. They see an enemy. And then finally, look at Noble, National Organizations of Blacks in Law Enforcement. Those are black cops who understand our predicament because they are black themselves, but they got better ideas about how to fix this problem. If we do those kinds of things, I think we begin the, the process of answering this. Oh, man. Now, now Washington, D.C. and eight states had primary elections on yesterday uh, with more elections within. Uh, we got more elections coming up in the next few weeks. Now, more than ever, how is how important is it uh, for people to get out and vote? Man, I'm so glad you raised that. It's so important. First of all, last night we got rid of Steve King, uh, the racist congressman out yes. of Iowa. That's what voting can do for you. What can Brown do for you? Yeah, it can put your white racist self out of office. And black right. people need to pay attention to voting. You know, I know, I know a lot of young white uh, black people say, well, and ain't nothing going on, ain't no choice. There's a big difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Joe Biden represents a far more uh, humane response to the social injustices we confront than a Donald Trump. Is he perfect? No. And as he says, I'm not running against the almighty. I'm running against the alternative. And right now, that is indeed Donald Trump. But it's not just the presidency. When you vote for the president, you're voting for who's going to get on that Supreme Court. Whoever you appoint will have the ability to shape legal practice and social justice for our consideration years after they are gone. But not only that, down ballot is important. Who is the prosecutor determines whether or not they equal, uh, they quickly arrest a cop who has done something heinous to black people or brown people. So who you vote for makes a big difference in the quality of your existence and how you live in American society. So please, 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 black folk, get out there and vote. Oh man, hey Dr. Dyson, thank you so much for coming on. I hope you thank come you. on uh yes. on the show a lot more cuz I love having you on the show. I'll never forget you used to come to the studio when we were in Dallas and Valley View Mall early yeah, in the morning sir, and sit in Yeah, sit in that little bitty room man and just try to do good <laughs> radio and and try to get people elected and and uh let people know what's going on when we were on the hip hop station. I really appreciate uh Well, I'm I'm, uh, I'm glad you remembered me, man. You done blown up like nitro and I'm out here <laughs> trying to get man. I'm out here trying to get the spark, man. How hey, about Dr. Mondays Dyson. with Michael? Mondays with Michael. Let's do that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey I, I'm down with it. you know I'm down with it. Hey, Doctor Dyson, I sit up, I watch you on, uh, I watch you on Morning Joe. I can't even do the morning show because I got uh, Morning Joe on every morning. I'm watching on uh, CNN, all of the uh, things that you do with uh, Tavis Smiley and uh, Minister Farrakhan. I follow you. I'm on all your videos. All, I'm, I'm your low key stalker. So you 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 a, you a mentor from from all the way across the country, but I absolutely right. love you and uh and people need to pick up a copy of your book Tears That We Cannot Stop. That's right, Tears We Cannot Stop: A Sermon to White America. So what? How can they go and find this book? Man, they can they can get it on Amazon, and if they out there in the streets and they come by a bookstore, you can grab it while you're there. So uh, that, you know, I ain't saying looting it, but I'm saying if you got a copy, go on and read it. <laughs> hey, hey, love you, y'all. Y'all give it up one time, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson. Freaking Smile the Morning Show. Yes. Woo.